Oh, it's gonna be awesome. I cannot wait, honestly. Uh, it kind of feels like uh, last year this time whenever I was waking up every day with the with, with, uh, with the pregame jitters and asking guys what it was like to, to play in a college game. So now I'm asking guys what it's like to play in a different stadium. So uh, it's, it's awesome to, to, to be ready to, to run out of the tunnel. It's, it's a special, uh, special feeling. So I'm really looking forward to it. What did you guys, uh, a game like this, you're probably a pretty heavy favorite. What do you want to get out of this game? Uh, I mean, honestly, this is, uh, we're taking it the same way as we take every game, to come out fired up. Uh, I mean, not to look uh, underestimate our opponent. I mean, Alabama A&M Alabama is, is a great team. They're very explosive. They're uh, very athletic. So we just got to come out and be explosive, do the little things, and just focus on us. And uh, one thing that we really need to work on is coming at it halftime and, 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 and being part of Because a lot of times last year, we, uh, we really struggled the third quarter of, of coming out and being explosive and, and do the little things. So I think this year we're going to come out and, and, and just play our game and just uh, be in control of what we can control and just go out there and uh, play hard and, and compete all four quarters. You come yeah. from a family of a starting quarterback. Your brother started in college, Dusty was at Indiana. Did they talk to you about the transition from high school to college and offering advice to you? Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, talking with my, my oldest brother, Drew, and middle brother, Dusty, and it is just to come out and uh, the game's going to be a lot faster just to, uh, to go out there and be explosive, go, go out there and take control of the offense. And just have full confidence in yourself and the and your and your teammates. So, I think I've done a great job of coming out and just uh, knowing that it's not a uh, that it's not going to come down to me. That it's a team sport. That I have ten other guys on the field that are going to go out there and compete and 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 they're going to get the job done. Any uh, things in particular that you worked on during uh, this this off season, and uh, what are your impressions on how you've progressed as a player? Uh, for me. Uh, I mean, I had to come out and, and understand that uh, I threw a lot of picks last year. Uh, I needed to do a better job of, of, of uh, controlling the ball. And at the same time, I need to do a better job of uh, keeping myself safe. I mean, uh, not getting those late hits, not getting injured, and understanding that I'm going to have to play all, all these games and I can't come out and, uh, at half and, just, and not play. So um, I think I've done a great job of getting in the weight room, having a better diet. And uh, getting with our strength staff and training staff, and and uh, just working on the little things. How frustrating was that when that happened to you last year? A lot of times you couldn't finish the game. Oh, it was awful. I mean, it's very frustrating for me as a competitor. I mean, to be taken out of those games, um, and uh, it, it was it was awful, honestly, just because I want to be out there with my teammates and and do whatever I can to to win football games. And whenever I came out, it just it was frustrating. So I think this year I'm I'm going to pride myself on 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 uh, getting rid of the ball sooner, getting in the better uh, line protection, and just uh, being smarter with the ball. You have a few days here, a week or so here, where you were sick. Um, I assume you're okay now, and you feel like you're playing well, throwing the ball well. Oh, I feel great. Yeah, I feel really good. I mean, uh, being sick at higher ground is probably one of the worst things that could happen to you. Uh, I mean, uh, but I mean, I I I, uh, I bust my butt and. Uh, did whatever I could to, to get on the field. I mean, I, I'm going to play sick, play hurt, do whatever I can to get to get the respect of the guys and to understand that that I'm a tough player and I'm going to do whatever I can to be on the field a little bit. Why is it worse being sick at higher ground? <sighs> just being alone. I mean, just <laughs> you got really no one to lean on. You're in the middle of nowhere. Your your bed's small. You're you're doing football 24/7. So you just kind of feel like if you feel awful, and then uh, you don't really have anywhere to go. So you're playing football 24-7. You can't really lay down and relax. It's, just, it's a grind 24-7. How, how hard is it to ease back into what you want to do when you're so excited about the upcoming season? Honestly, it, it helps. It helps a ton being a student just because, I mean, you go out and, and you go to class and you just become a normal student again. So I love it. I love going on. I love going to class and seeing uh, seeing other people and, and meeting other students. and, and and I think that uh, I'm friends with a lot of regular students. I mean, they're not athletes, so it's kind of nice. I mean, it's because you go back from being the quarterback and kind of getting a lot of attention, and you don't really deserve a lot of the attention, but it just kind of comes on to you. I mean, a lot of the guys on the team deserve it much more than I do. The offensive line, the running backs, wide receivers, I'm just a quarterback. So it feels good just to, to be around guys that are going to treat you like a student first and not, not a quarterback or, or an athlete.
Oh, it's great. It's great. I mean, uh, to have our, our three-headed running back is just, it's incredible with, with Jose and Tion and Mike. Those guys are incredible athletes, and it, they're going to do a great job of running the football. So it opens up a lot of holes for us. I mean, we're going to do a lot more play action pass. I mean, a lot more me on the, on the move, throw on the run. So I'm looking forward to it. I mean, it helps having a great uh, run game. It opens up a lot of holes for our, for our pass game. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's it's great, honestly. Just because we can do a lot more, we can bury a fake and throw like a, this little pop pass off of it, which is awesome. I mean, it's gonna have to uh, our, the those linebackers are gonna have to be worried about coming up and worrying about our running backs busting out a run because I mean, it's gonna take a lot more people than just one person to bring those guys down. They're they're hard nosed football players. They they run the ball with authority, and uh, it's gonna be interesting what they're gonna do this year. With the new stadium, is, is it almost felt for the players that it's like launching a new era for BC football right now? I think so. I think so. Just because, I mean, we're the first ones to come out here and play in the, in the new stadium. I mean, this is, to me, one of the best stadiums in the, in the country. I mean, it's, it's huge. It's, it's going to pack a lot of people. And it's going to be interesting to see people's faces and reactions when they come in here and see how loud it is and see all the people and, and students getting interacted with the game. So. I mean, for us, it's a great opportunity to come out and and, and uh, show what what we have and what we're going to do. What is you guys coming back? How do you how do you temper the confidence and say we know we should be good, but how do we make sure we're good? Uh, I mean, for us, it's just just understanding that we do have a lot of studs on our team. That that uh, if we play as a team, that we're going to do special things. It's just everyone buying in, everyone being accountable. No one slacking off and just and just trusting trusting Coach Tuberville, coaching Coach Grant, coach, uh, trusting uh, Coach Grant, trusting Coach Clink on what they're going to do. So I mean, this is it's going to be interesting to see what we're going to do. And if everyone's accountable and buys in, then we're going to be a special team. I mean, what's great is we don't really have any selfish players. Um, everyone gets along greatly. There's no I player. There's no player who wants the attention. I mean, we're 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 a team that gives back. And, and has each other's backs, and and, and uh, that's what I love about uh, our team. From your perspective, behind center, what's different about this defense this year, and, and why should we expect a better year from them than some of the struggles they had last year? I mean, our defense is is, is super hard nosed this year. I mean, uh, they're coming in with a huge chip on their shoulder. I mean, they read articles where they get bashed and criticized for what happened to them last year. So I mean, they're coming out with a chip on their shoulder. Um, very underlooked, but I mean, our defense is, is nasty. They get after it. They rally to the ball. I mean, there's not just one guy tackling. It's a, it's a whole unit of guys to the ball making tackles. So, I mean, our D-line with, with our captain, Silver and Muhan is, is, is great. And then our, we got Adrian Witte who came back, which is huge for us. But just because Witte has so much respect from the guys and has so much game knowledge that he can help the younger guys. And, and there's always a next guy in. So, I mean, we have so much depth now at, at defense that if one guy goes down, another guy can come in and replace him. And, and, and I mean, they're, they're good. And they gave us a, a great look this camp and, and spring and in summer. So it's going to be interesting to see what they do. And I have full, full uh, trust in our defense. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I think uh, I mean they did a great job disguising different defenses, and and it was tough to see what they were doing sometimes, which which helped us a ton on offense. So I love I love what our defense is doing, and I can't wait to to see what they're going to do. One more. Got kind of along the same lines of it being a new era. I know you say you're just a quarterback, but it's an important position. Do you embrace kind of what you can do for this program? You guys do go out there and perform as well as you think you should. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm just. Uh, Doing, doing my, whatever I can, can to, to, to help the team. So I mean, I mean if that's if we're going to run the ball the entire game, so be it. I'm going to do whatever I can to, to, to get a win and to be there for my teammates. And uh, at the beginning of the year, we had a, we had a team meeting, and and at the time I was going to be an Uber driver. So I was I told the guys that hey, if you ever need anything, that I was going to be there, be there for them. So for me, I just want to be a great team player, like a guy that guys can rely on. And just be an accountable quarterback, just to, to, to be the captain, the leader of the program that I need to be. Thank you, Gunner. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.